Hi, everybody. I'm Terry Foltz, and welcome to Terry's Playdate, where you will hear short plays written by me and read by my talented actor friends. Today's play is called Semiedo, and before we do the reading, I'd like the actors to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Julie Jordan, and I'm zooming in from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'll be playing, playing the part of Barbara Nelson. Hi, I'm Eric Thomas in Florence, Kentucky, and I'll be reading the part of Carlos. Hi, I'm Michael Scarpelli, and I'll be reading the stage directions from Cincinnati, Ohio. Semiedo. Barbara Nelson is a tourist in Mexico, where she has visited every year for the last five years to remember her son who has died of cancer. When she spies a crowd gathering near a huge cliff, she stops an onlooker to ask for information. Do you know what's going on there? See. Si. This is a big day for the village. See those uh, three in front? The men without shirts? Uh, not men. Not yet. What do you mean? In a little while, those three will jump from the highest point on that cliff into the water below. Oh my god, how high is that cliff? 50 feet, like a four-story building where you live, probably. But that's not the most dangerous part. They have to wait for the perfect time. Or what? Or risk becomes death. Those three, uh, this is their first time. They just turned a majority to 18. They have waited and watched their older brothers. Now, their turn. So that's the perfect time, age 18? Uh, no, uh, it's not what I meant. <laughs> Perfect timing with the weather. Look at the wind. The, look at the rushing waters below. They must wait now, at least an hour. Why are they doing this? <laughs> like I said, boys to men. This is what they do before they call each other men. So when the water settles and the wind dies down, less risk. I see. See the boy in front? He is the tallest in his family, uh, six foot and, and five inches. The water below is not six feet deep. It's very dangerous. And the shortest boy? He must uh, jump out far when he dives or he will not clear the cliff completely. He needs a strong legs. And nerves of steel. <clears throat> yes. So, the culture does not recognize them as men until they do this? Uh, it's not that. Our culture is not that way. But young boys have their own culture. This began when their grandfathers were 18. One man's silly idea has become a tradition. So their families watch and cheer? But their fathers do. Their mothers uh, do not. I don't blame them. You will hear the crowd yell in a while, over and over. Sin miedo, sin miedo. Meaning? No fear, no fear. That's a lot of pressure. They can't show any fear? Uh, no, I know what that means. It means that they are jumping from the cliff as a way of conquering fear. They believe that they will be ready for manhood after this. Nothing they encounter later will ever match this fear. So conquer this, conquer everything. Their mothers know better. What? That's why they aren't here. Their mothers know real fear, the kind that has nothing to do with jumping from cliffs, no matter how dangerous. I suppose you're right. I know I'm right. Those young boys about to be men know nothing of fear until they have, have sat next to a dying child. And you? I have known fear. Uh, peor miedo. What is that? Worst fear. I would have climbed the highest cliff and jumped in the middle of a windstorm into a foot of water if it would have saved me from pure miedo. I am so sorry. 
this is the last place we came as a family before the diagnosis, before the fears began. How long ago? Five years. This year he would have been 18. He was just a boy then. You come back each year? I do. It settles me. I remember. I let go of more fear. I rest. Sin miedo? Not yet, but it fades each year, just a little. Those boys up there, they have no idea of fear. Maybe one day, when they have children. Yes, when they are parents, they will know. And no cliff diving, no matter how high or how risky, will prepare them. They are young. They cannot know what the world has not yet taught them. But one day. Yes. One day they will see the folly of this day. They are young and naive. They think they can stop the fear. Their mothers know better. Yes. Mothers know. They fear because they love. To love is to grieve. Come back next year, please. You may still have grief, but the fear will almost be gone. Will you stay to watch? No. I will be their mother and, and hide my eyes. Mm -hmm.